Hello children, welcome to Math Park. Let us learn trigonometric ratios of complementary angles. It is 8.3 exercise for class 10 CBSE and chapter 25 for class 9 ICSE. So very important to let us understand the basics of this. So what are complementary angles? If sum of two angles is 90 degree, then they are called complementary angles. Sum of two angles is 90 degree, they are called complementary angles. For example, 10 and 80 are complementary angles. 20 and 70 are complementary angles. When two angles, they add up to 90 degree, they are called complementary angles. Now here we have a right triangle. Now in right triangle, one angle is 90 degree. So other two angles will definitely add up to 90 because sum of three angles of a triangle is 180. So if I take this as theta, so this is going to be 90 minus theta. These two are acute. Now we know that sine theta opposite, this is your opposite and this is your hypotenuse, is opposite upon hypotenuse which is BC upon AC. So if I take, okay, so now if I take cos, cot, cos 90 minus theta, this is adjacent now with respect to 90 minus theta, this is the adjacent side. So adjacent upon hypotenuse, this is going to be BC upon AC. So what do we see here? Sin theta is equal to cos 90 minus theta, that is sin theta and cos 90 minus theta both are BC upon AC. So same will happen with tan and cot. So we can say that sin and cos are complementary ratios of each other. So sin theta is equal to cos 90 minus theta. And cos theta will be equal to sin 90 minus theta. So this I want you to derive it yourself children. One I have explained. Okay same way if you derive you will remember it very well. So tan and cot. So tan theta is equal to cot 90 minus theta. And cot theta is equal to tan 90 minus theta. And cosec theta is equal to sec 90 minus theta. And sec theta is equal to cosec 90 minus theta. So we understand sine and cos are complements of each other. Tan and cot are complements of each other. And cosec and sec are complements of each other. Let us take some examples. Now sine 43 and cos 47. What you need to observe here 43 and 47 are complements of each other. And sine and cos are complements of each other. So any one you are going to change. So I can write sin theta. We know that sin theta is equal to cos 90 minus theta. Just now we have seen that. Right? So I will write this sin 43 as cos 90 minus 43. I will keep this cos 47 as it is. Cos 47. Now 90 minus 43 is 47. So we can write this as cos 47 upon cos 47 and which is equal to 1. Easy. Let's take one more question. Now in this question we have um, 2 tan 63 upon cot 27 minus tan 20 upon cot 70. Always children remember you will get an angles they will be always complements of each other. Some of them will be always 90 degree. So any one you can change. Any one you can change. Now tan theta. We know that tan theta is equal to cot 90 minus theta. Just now we have seen that. So let us use that. So we will be in place of tan 63. I will write it as cot 92 cot 90 minus 63 upon. I will keep this cot 27 as it is cot 27 minus tan 20 can be written as uh, cot 90 minus 20. Cot 90 minus 20. I will keep this cot 70 as it is. Cot 70 we kept as it is. Now, 90 minus 63 is again 27. So, we can write this as 2 cot 27 upon cot 27 minus 90 minus 20 is 70. So, we will write this as cot 70 upon cot 70. So, this is going to be 1. Cot 27 upon cot 27 is going to be 1. And uh, cot 70 upon cot 70 is going to be 1. So, 2 minus 1, we get the value as 1. Understood children? So I will be solving the complete exercise 25. So I want you to watch that video after that. I hope you have understood the concept. If you like it and if you feel that it is helping, please share with your friends. 
and if you are new to the channel please subscribe thank you for watching have a good day